When you and I were born in 1934, there were almost 7 million family farms in this country. There are now roughly around 2 million family farms. And most of us are further away from the foundations of nature than we've ever been. Well, there's another tough problem. And so you have to look ahead a little bit. I don't like to talk about the future very much because it, it doesn't exist and we don't know anything about it. But one thing we know right now is that people want to be healthy and to be healthy you have to have a diverse diet. And diverse agriculture employs a lot more people than monoculture. So you imagine people moving out into the landscape because it'll pay them to do it. It'll be what we now vulgarly call job creation. But this will take a lot of patience. It'll take a long time. Do we have time given what agribusiness is doing? We don't have a right to ask that question. Uh, we have to ask what's the right thing to do and go ahead and do it and take no thought for the morrow. Resettling of America means? It means putting people on the land, enough people on the land, to take proper care of it and pay them decently for doing it. The fact that we in our families know the history of people having to leave the country because they couldn't make a living there is the history of rural America. But that they left because they couldn't make a living is an indictment of our land policies. The idea that you have to go somewhere else, that you have to leave a fertile country in order to make a living is preposterous. And it's a result of the wrong idea of what we mean by making a living in the first place. To make a living is not to make a killing, it's to have enough.